Journey to the Earth's Depths, Hidden Mysteries. Welcome Tommy Sterry Seekers. Today, we're going to explore the deepest holes on Earth, from 30 meters deep to over 24,000 meters. You'll discover surprising and mysterious places. When thinking about the deepest holes, people usually imagine a dark, endless void. However, not all deep holes are like that. For example, the Chand Bowery in Rajasthan, India, isn't an ordinary hole but a step well built in the 8th century. It is 30 meters deep, equal to the height of five giraffes stacked on top of each other. This step well has provided a stable water source for the Rajasthan area long before modern water systems. It is also the deepest step well in the world with 3,500 narrow steps spread across 13 floors. Not only on land, but also under the vast water, there are giant mysteries. One example is the strange water holes that look like magical whirlpools leading to another world. In reality, they are spillways or overflow pipes. When the water in a reservoir reaches a certain level, the excess water flows through the spillway. Take the Monticello Dam in California, USA. Its circular spillway can discharge over 1,300 cubic meters per second, more than half the volume of an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Its depth is impressive too, reaching over 60 meters, equal to an 18-story building. Next, in the remote area of Texas, USA, about 2,250 kilometers southeast of the Monticello Dam, you can find another terrifying deep hole. Explorer Ammon Billings first discovered this sinkhole in 1867. Seeing the scene before him, he named it the Devil's Sinkhole. The name is fitting. The main cave is a round crevice 198 meters wide and an astounding 107 meters deep. Imagine fitting the Statue of Liberty inside with 12 meters to spare. Moreover, this sinkhole is home to 3 million Mexican free-tailed bats. According to geologists, this place resulted from a natural process that took around a million years. Speaking of deep holes, we cannot ignore a frightening cave in the Almara Desert in eastern Yemen. In the vast, endless land, a strange circle suddenly appears as if carved into the ground. Locals call it the Well of Hell. The mouth of the well is nearly 305 meters wide and over 112 meters deep. Those brave enough to approach say it emits a strong, foul odor from the abyss. Some even believe it's the prison of demons. A group of 10 daring explorers decided to venture to the bottom. Fortunately, they returned safely. They described waterfalls, stalactites, cave pearls, birds, and snakes. Perhaps these creatures cause the foul smell. As we have seen, deep holes can also appear underwater. The oceans have similar holes, such as the Great Blue Hole off the coast of Belize. This giant sinkhole formed about 15,000 years ago, 318 meters across and an astounding 124 meters deep. The Great Blue Hole is much deeper than the surrounding waters. Notably, it was once a cave filled with stalactites and stalagmites home to various marine life. However, 124 meters isn't the deepest. In Kimberley, South Africa, there's a place called the Kimberley Diamond Mine or the Big Hole. It is an impressive 215 meters deep and over 457 meters wide. How did such a colossal hole appear in rural South Africa? In 1871, a diamond discovery here created a diamond rush, attracting thousands. Within a year, the number of miners reached 50,000. However, the mining process was not easy. Many miners faced accidents, poor sanitation, food and water shortages, and harsh heat. By 1914, after heavy human losses, mining operations ceased. Nevertheless, the Big Hole's achievements were impressive. Over 22 million tons of rock were excavated, yielding 31 tons of diamonds, equal to the weight of four African elephants. After abandonment, groundwater and rain gradually filled the hole, creating a 40-meter-deep blue lake. 
However, with 30 meter high sheer cliffs, accessing the lake is challenging. Despite its impressive depth, there's another sea cave that surpasses even Kimberley Mine in depth. The Dragon Hole in the South China Sea is thought to be near the legendary site where Sun Wukong battled the Third Prince, son of the Dragon King of the West Sea. With a total depth of 914 meters, it is the deepest blue hole in the world. This number is equivalent to the height of the Wangkong Tower in China. The upper part of the Dragon Hole is home to at least 20 species of fish. However, below 91 meters, life seems non-existent. The Dragon Hole has no cave leading to the sea, causing the deep water to be isolated and stagnant, lacking oxygen, which means no life can survive. Surprisingly, in the middle of the sidewalk in Woodingdian, England, lies another deep hole. At first glance, no one would guess it's the Woodingdian Well, the deepest hand dug well in the world. Its depth is 392 meters, even deeper than the Empire State Building in New York, if not counting the antenna. The question is, why is such a massive structure on a sidewalk? The story began in 1858 when the well was dug to supply water to a nearby workhouse. This arduous task took for years of continuous day and night labor under dim candle light. Finally, after for years, they found water. However, the Woodingdian well was only used for four years before being abandoned due to a more convenient water supply. Next, we will go to Mir Mine in Siberia, Russia. This open pit diamond mine has a nearly 1,189 meter diameter and an impressive 525 meter depth. Discovered by Soviet geologists in the 1950s, the Mir mine was once one of the world's largest diamond mines. But mining diamonds here wasn't easy. Siberia is known for its harsh weather conditions. To find the precious diamonds, miners had to use explosives and vaporize rocks at high temperatures. Thus, from 1957 to 2001, the Mir mine produced over 2 million carats of diamonds each year. Today, after ceasing open pit mining in 2001, Mir has switched to underground mining. With a depth of 525 meters, Mir is currently the second deepest open pit diamond mine in the world. The mine's diamond production numbers are impressive, with approximately 142 million carats of diamonds mined since 1957. This amount equals about 28,400 kilograms of diamonds, over 2,000 large diamonds each year. Another example is the Barkley Pit in Montana, USA, with a depth of up to 543 meters. This deep hole is a remnant of the copper mining industry, abandoned in the 1980s. The water in the hole has an extremely low pH and contains heavy metals, making it dangerous for living creatures. The pit is not only a historical relic, but also an example of the consequences of resource extraction without environmental protection. When copper mining ended in 1982, the Barkley Pit quickly became a reservoir for rainwater and groundwater. However, due to the proximity of the hole to sulfide mines, when the metals in the rock interact with water and air, sulfuric acid is created. The pH of the water in the hole is astonishingly low, around 2.5. This is almost equivalent to the acidity of vinegar or lemon juice. The water also contains heavy metals like copper, zinc, iron, and arsenic, making it toxic and undrinkable. In 1995, when a flock of geese flew over the Barkley Pit, over 340 birds died from poisoning after contacting the water. Since then, the Barkley Pit has become a historical monument and a valuable lesson about the consequences of resource extraction without environmental protection. Hey guys, we just finished exploring the mysterious wormholes in the world. Do you see that the world around us always has many interesting things? They can be created by nature or can be created by humans during mineral exploitation. If you know any more scary deep holes, please comment below so everyone can know. Continue following our channel so you won't miss out on more exciting adventures.
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to support us. Thank you for joining us and see you in the next video.